Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online, where the game starts. Yo, what's happening? We are back once again. It is Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club. This is Band Sessions with the Boom. I'm your boy Terrell Key, aka T Breezy. We got Miss Danielle Walls, Mr. Toby Johnson. What's happening, y'all? Hold on. Before y'all say what's happening, y'all, if you have not liked or subscribed to the channel, check us out on YouTube, check us out on Spotify. Check us out on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcast. Just go to Google and type in Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club. We're there. Click on it. If you want to ride and listen to us, boom, you got us on Spotify or something. If you want to check us out visually, boom, you got us on YouTube. But when you do that, hit the bell when you hit the subscribe button. Toby Dunyad, what's the haps? What it is? What up, though? What's up? We're back Having again. a good day. We're Having back. a good day? Mm-hmm. Toby got his pom pom ready. He is ready for fruit barrel season. I'm <laughs> so excited. We're, 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 we're here. We're, here. we're here now. It's already it's, it is happening right now. It's, it's right now. Right now. Mm-hmm. Yo, so check it out. So we here. So before we get in, how y'all been? Y'all, y'all been having a good week so far. Mm-hmm. Summer yeah. been treating you well. Is it hot where you guys are? It's hot. Because it's hot where I am. It's it's hot. Hot. The beads are popping off of the forehead. It is hot human season. Kenny, mm-hmm. Kenny, Kenny got on his um summer beach body attire. Oh, he got on some. He hoochie. got on some. Trunk. He got on some hoochie daddy. Come, on, <laughs> come on, Teddy Bear, let's get naked. Ben, <laughs> Benny the Pooh. Bear naked. <laughs> Bear naked. He is ready. All right, y'all. So, all right, so we're gonna jump into this. So, you know, we always do the question. Toby Daniel always come with the question, but I said I'm just gonna pop a question up today. I got a little question only because they always do the question. I said, well, I'm gonna do a question today. So here go my question. Y'all, y'all ready? Y'all ready for the question? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so here we go. Question is <sighs> Have you driven a Ford lately? That's not the question. I'm sorry. I just don't know where that came from. The question is, the question is what was your favorite dance routine? Do you remember? It's been a minute. It's been a while. And it doesn't matter what. You know, it could be any year. Just a favorite. It don't even have to be a year that you march. It could be. I got mine. So I went here. I got yours. a few then. And then I can. A few? Okay. Give me. Danielle, what's your favorite? Ladies first. All right, the first one mm. is going to be Are You That Somebody, 98. Are you what? what, what, what was Are it? You That Somebody, Aaliyah, 98. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He laid down and yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 yeah. I forgot about that. That was a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we went sleep, sleep, sleep. sleep, sleep. sleep. We went to sleep. <laughs> and we went to sleep on the ground. We went to sleep. <laughs> sleep Not supposed to be on the ground in the uniform. <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. I forgot about that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. All right. All right. That was yours, Toby. That was mine. Okay. So, to- so that was Toby's. Okay. Fine. It popped into his head. He had to think of another one. Let me give mine. Hey, you know what? I, 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 anything that we went, bloom, 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 bloom. Hold up. And we turned around. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, like yeah, any of those. Kickball chain. Kickball chain. I go with that. That's fine. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. So mine is mine is um get your freak on. It was like ugly into get your freak on, I think. It was like doom 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 doom. 
It was like that was cool. So it was like quiet. Shh. I remember we made that dance routine up. So here's the funny. Here's the funny. So we were on the dance committee. Danielle and I were on the dance committee. Toby, I was on the dance committee. You were not on the dance committee. Was it was always a, there was always one percussionist that would come. We, we it was just Toby. Set a snare drummer. Yeah, it was always a snare drummer. But he was just tempo. in there to keep the to keep the beat. Yeah. He weren't. He wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all, man. <laughs> he wasn't just doing that keeping the beat. I, I mean, I was on the dance committee. Like, like. I remember it. No, I'm dude. joking. I was no, no, in no, there. no. I know, I, I know you. I, I, I know you were in there. I, you were in there. You were definitely. I'm just joking. So listen. So check this out. So uh, dance committee. So we used to always have to present the dance routine. So now here's a funny one. A funny dance routine. Remember uh, memory. Remembrance. A memory. Doctor Liddell would always come in there when we would break off and go to uh go we would break off and come up with the dance. We would be upstairs or we'll be in another room upstairs somewhere or in another room away from the band hall. Doc would have to come in and see it first. All right. But not this particular dance routine. But when we did um mystical, it was shake it fast. It was shake it fast. Watch yourself. Shake it fast. Show me what you're working with. Doc would come in and he would sit there and you know monitor it to make sure it was okay and that it was good to do and if he didn't like it we have to change it <laughs> so doc would come in so he we, the chant was shake your fast watch yourself so he was trying to make sure we <laughs> we broke the staccato we had the staccato so the carry so the so the carry so the carry across the field so that's another funny doc moment I gotta, hey, we gotta have a show of doc moments funny doc moments. anyway mm-hmm. i just wanted to share that so yeah, all right. That's yes. for real though. Like, he was like, "You gotta be staccato, shit, the face." What? Oh my god! <laughs> it was funny, like hilarious. Every time he would come in, and him, he would just sit there and be like this, just watching us. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> trying to see. Hmm. I think one time he tried to. Did Doc ever try to like show us how to do a dance move? No, never. No, no. Okay. it was I've just to shake it fast. Time. Okay, all right. I, I'm, I must Thank made that up okay. in my head. Just a chance, like, <laughs> just a chance. Okay, just all, right. Chance. all right. So that's it. That's our uh view. If you can remember your in the comment section, what is your favorite? What's your favorite dance routine? Um, it's gonna probably be hard to remember the names of the songs depending on how far back you go. Um, if you say something like, oh, back in 1989, we did the Chinese typewriter at Motown and we were doing it to MC Hammer's whatever song. You got to remember the song. You know, it's kind of got to remember it. But anyway, <laughs> put in the comment section your favorite dance routine from the Sonic Boom of the South. All right. So we have another special guest. All of our guests are special, but this guest is very, very special. Coming in. Holding it down for the 99 2000, not the 99 2000. I just felt like saying that it just seemed like this just goes with everything, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, our next guest coming to the stage, Miss Melanie Gibbs. Hold on, let me get my pom pom ready. Oh, <laughs> I had him shake the pom pom. Oh, hey, I put a shirt on him, man. No, he don't need a shirt. What's going on, Miss <laughs> Melanie Gibbs? How are you today? I'm good. How are y'all? Great. Um, we're great. great. It's a little, it's a little hot outside, just a tad bit, but you know, we're inside where the AC is blowing and no sweat is popping off foreheads. So we're good. We're gravy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want me to kick it off? Go ahead, ma'am, if you don't mind. Kick it on off. Kick it okay, good. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Mel- Melanie. It's lovely to see your beautiful face. Thank um, you. and 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 we are, you know, happy to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I guess I wanted to start off. I mean, we can start off with something easy. How did you get to Jackson State? How did you mm. get there? Where did you where did you start and how did you get there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I um ended up at Jackson State through uh, another twirler, Celia Bowman. Her name is Jeffries now. But um, I was trying to figure out where I wanted to go exactly. I knew I didn't want to stay in Nashville, so I'm from Nashville. Didn't want to stay in Nashville at all. Wanted to get away. 
And she was like, you should come twirl with me up here at Jackson State. And I was like, okay, let's, let's, let's see what it's about. Um, so I had never been to the campus before, never been to a game or anything like that before. And my first time being on campus was my auditions uh, in front of everybody. Um, so, and I didn't know I was getting into that too. But um, that's how I ended up at Jackson State. She was like, yo, come twirl with me. I was like, all right, let's do it. Wow. So you were so you were twirling and you were twirling in Nashville. That's what you were doing. I was. I was a competitive twirler and then I twirled for a high school band. Mm. Competitive. How do, how, how, do, how do one go into twirling? How do, okay, y'all was asking me two different questions. Oh uh, <laughs> no, so well the first question, um I went to a performing arts high school, so we didn't have a band. So I could go to any high school and be in the band. So that's how, that's why I said another high school. But um, twirling, I started twirling when I was seven. Mm -hmm. My mom just put me in it and I just happened to be good at it. And so I started joining teams, uh, competed, did state, regional, nationals, all that good stuff. Have a couple titles under my belt. And uh, the rest is history, really. Awesome. Mm. Wow. Okay, so you were competing in high school. I started competing when I was like 10 and okay. did it all the way through through high school. So um, I have like a few pictures on social media with like these big six foot trophies where I was like grand champion of twirl and grand champion of three baton. So I was just out here being, you know, a circus act, being adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to say you were a circus. Not a circus act. Again, we get close to the mic. So we're close to the mic. Say it again. I say like, like you're dipping the, 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 the twirls and flyers and stuff like that, the batons and flyers. The the fire, I never burn myself with the fire though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you twirl with it. That's say good. That that's that's a plus. That's mm -hmm. you, can, yeah. you you know what? You can go down to history and say, Hey, I never got burned. But yep. I get twirled. I've never heard of any twirlers getting burned. Is that a thing? I don't know. If you don't really be. get burned because of how like how it is, it'll touch right. your skin, but like it's hot. So if you touch something hot, you automatically just gonna pull from it anyway. Yeah. It'll leave like a little dust mark, but that's it doesn't really burn you for real. I, mm -hmm. I know back in the day, like in the eighties, like twirlers had jerry curls and stuff. Like like that was dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely was dangerous, sir. No, that's a little dangerous, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. For no, sure. I'm not gonna lie. It was one time on the field. I got my penis on fire, though. Say that wow. one more time. You said what's up? What? What? Say it again. You something caught on fire? I said it was. There was one time on the field. I thought I caught my ponytail on fire because <laughs> I knew it what? hit. I knew I. I heard it hit the baton, and I was like, "Oh my god!" But I was. I was. Was 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 this at Jacks? Was this at Jackson State? Where was the where was this? Mm -hmm. it was, was it Jackson, Jackson State? Yeah. Can you send me that? Can you send me that YouTube clip, please? <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's that. if I did, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't share it. Hilarious. I'm just kidding. So let me so let me ask you how how was so okay? You get to Jackson State and you try out. How was that experience? You said you you that was your first time ever being on the campus was tryouts and you definitely didn't expect what you got at tryouts and tryouts were a bit different in 07 than they are today so how was that experience meeting doc and all of that it was a lot it was a lot i knew i had to do like a routine and in interviews but what what celia did not tell me was that it was going to be in front of all these people so i was expecting just you know like doc and a few other people um, and I get in the gym and there's all these people now and Diana was like, are you ready? And I was like, no, like, what am I doing? Um, it was overwhelming. I've never seen people get booed before they even do anything. And so, um, I was Wait a like, minute. yo, this is crazy. Did you get and booed? Before I twirled, yes. I, when I walked out on the floor, they were booing me, and I'm just like, "This is crazy!" And especially since, 
I don't know. I'm and like you gotta think too. I'm used to the competitive swirling. So it's like it's a bunch of people that don't look like me. Mm-hmm. And so then I'm kind of excited because I'm like, oh, my people, and my people booed me before I even did it. I'm like, dang. Mm-hmm. But I did good. I turned it around. Everybody was cheering for me, you know. Once I started twirling, so I said, Whoo, thank you, Jesus. So whatever you do, just don't drop this baton when you get out there. Like that's that's the only thing. So it was cool. It's it's a story to tell for real. <laughs> Shout out to our people. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. I mean, it, cool. like you said, you turned it around, and that's all it took. They just yeah. had to yeah. see. They had to see something. They had to see it. <laughs> they did, but ooh, it was hard work making a believe out of them. I said, <laughs> all right. Well, I was on the band staff at that time, so I was not a part of that crowd, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> not out loud at least not out loud at least no 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 i could have been a judge that year i don't know um <laughs> what so i got a question melanie's what what was it and I, I haven't i haven't got past the part yet why what was it that you think made people boo you like they didn't know who you were just your first time walking out there where did the booing come from like why do you know I don't know. There were a few people that went before me and it was, I don't know, it was like a trend. And then um, I want to say it was probably like me and two other people that were auditioning. And I don't know, it just, you walk out on the floor and they just started booing. And I don't know if it's like just that thought of like twirlers versus like J sets kind of thing. I don't know. Cause some people like it and some people don't. But um, yeah, I don't know. It was an experience though. Great. Wow. That's, that's, wow. Yeah. I, I, th- this is my first song. Melanie's going to tell you something. I say this every episode. I learn so much and it's so much stuff to learn history wise, but I have never, ever, ever heard anybody ever say anything about the twirler getting booed. Like there has to be, like we used to boo. So when the J says we try out, oh gosh, I feel so awful because I was a part of this. Um, oh, foolishness. I wasn't. I know, right? You were. So, no, so, so I, we, I was just sitting so in the back, twirling my fingers. So, like I, I've right. never. Like, so, never. so, so, <laughs> Melanie's back. Well, those those boom people, those guys and girl gals that were cruel, they would get together and like talk about people and boo them before they walked out. Okay, fine, I get that. But when that was, I, so I, I understand the the reason behind that. But it was all fun and games, of course. But right. the twirler situation, though, I just never. I don't know. This is my first time hearing it. Like I've never heard that ever anywhere. So that's really, I don't know, I, yeah, never, ever, ever. I've, I don't. I just don't recall hearing hearing that ever. You know. So mm, that's news you, to me. You missed my audition then, because <laughs> <laughs> you said I missed what. Melanie, I know like with um with with, with Central Mississippi culture because I I grew up in Brandon, but like real close to Jackson, um the the, the twirling culture wasn't a, a really big thing. So like most of the twirlers that came to Jackson State came from other places that mm-hmm. had a twirling culture, mostly from like Chicago because Chicago had a, a twirling culture. Um, what like like. Uh, you've already talked about what like got you into twirling with your mom and everything like that. But like with, with Jackson state, like what was attractive about Jackson state that like, you know what, like this is something that I can, I can get into, especially going from Nashville because like Tennessee, you know, they got, they have their share of um, HBCUs that have marching bands. So like, like why Jackson state? I'm going to be honest. Like, well, first, lo- the schools here didn't have twirlers. So, like, TSU, they didn't have twirlers. So, it was never really an option for me. Um, Jackson State was one of the closest schools while still being away from, from home. But, and this is going to sound like a pageant answer, but it's, like, so true. I really just wanted to get out of what I was used to, which was twirling with, you know, a lot of I'm just going to say it candidly, like a lot of white people, there were very few people that looked like me competing. And so it's a different atmosphere. Um, Even in my organization that I was in twirling, I was one of few black people. And so 
I was really trying to get out of that and have my art appreciated in a different way because it wasn't always appreciated where I was. Right. And of course, you know, just being a black person in general, you always have to work like 10 times harder. But a lot of times, like when I would win titles or compete against people and, and beat them, um, there was always like this justification for why I won. And so nobody ever really just appreciated the art for itself. And I got that at Jackson State. Even in my audition, like I felt like I got that for the first time. Yeah. When it went from boo from booze to applause. Yeah. Like I'm like, hey, we, we respect her. She like, like she she down. She good. She yeah. good. She all right. <laughs> she, she all right. She didn't <laughs> drop it too many times. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I never um so I guess, you know, um once again, learning things. I've never seen competitive twirling and i don't know if that's just because i'm originally from jackson mississippi and there wasn't a thing in jackson mm -hmm. um you know of course we had brothers always see the twirlers in front of the boom for the for the, for the for the games and all that but never never seen or heard of um competitive twirling so when you say you were surrounded by a lot of people that didn't look like you that would probably that makes a lot of sense if if not to say that you know i wouldn't see it but I didn't see it. So just me hearing about it now, it sounds like something that's like super duper interesting to actually look into. Like, okay, okay, competitive twirling. Like, you know, is that something that is highlighted? Is that something that is seen across all networks and platforms and social medias and internets and all that good stuff? Is that, is that always on television? Like you see football and basketball on TV. Do you see twirling on TV? Like you see tennis and like you see golf. So like you know that's a that's a that's that's actually interesting to hear that. So um I appreciate that. That's that's cool. Competitive twirling. Yeah. Learn me it's something a, here. It's real, it's a real thing, man. Yeah, I've, like, I've, like, I've, I got a, I went to a deep dive and I was like, oh shit. Oh yeah. my old stuff. Sugar. I want to say that. Oh, who's sugar? I want to I want to say like I um as far as I know, as far as I know from the time that I was at Jackson State. Uh, during the time I was at Jackson State, you're the only competitive twirler that I know of. That I know of, like competitive on you competing on a state and national level. I'm guessing regional. Um, you mentioned Tennessee State, and so we're gonna just go ahead and loop around to that, right? Okay. Um, so full circle, right? Tennessee State didn't have a twirl, a twirler, you know, uh, feature. They didn't have that during their halftime shows or as a part of their band. However, you made your way back around to Tennessee State, and now you are the director. Am I right? Is that director, yep. coach, director of yep. the sophisticated ladies of Tennessee State marching yep. band, right? So yep. how did that come about? Um, I got tagged in a post where they were looking for um, a new coach. And... Um, it wasn't really on my mind to coach a college team. I did at the time, I did want to do choreography for different teams, but I didn't necessarily want to like have and coach um, a team. But I was like, you know what, why, why not? I see some things that I can like bring to the table. And it was uh, probably like a six or seven month long process um, of different things I had to go through with interviews and submitting different dance videos and concepts and ideas of what I would do with the team if I was the coach. And we're here now. And it's really funny because at the time I really wasn't um, clear to dance or do anything from my doctors because I had just um, been in the hospital. I had blood clots in my lungs. And so mm -hmm. um was kind of on their rest a little bit, but I went for it anyways, and I'm here now. Four wow, years later. Oh, wonderful. Wow. Four years. Four years. Yikes. So you got some kids, you have some students that have been with you the whole time, right? Or that have graduated? They'll graduate. Oh, uh, well, I'm going into my fourth year, so they'll graduate okay. this year. Yep. Wow, your babies. <laughs> babies, that's, that's what they are. That's awesome. Mm. So how how has that experience been for you? Um, I guess just getting going to going to Tennessee State and, you know, how did they how did they accept you? A new coach. I want to say the coach before you and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but a coach before you, they had like one of the. Those. um, What do you call it? I don't know what to call the dance troops. 
the drill teams. That's what they used to be called. Like the community. Uh, yes. Teams. Yes. Right. Is that right? No, she didn't have. She. I think she coached at a high school before. Okay. Okay. But yeah, um, it's been interesting. It's it's a lot better now. I I knew coming into it, the first thing people were gonna look at was the fact that I I did go to Jackson State and I was in the band, and that was the first thing that everybody was like, oh, she's gonna come in here and make them look like the J sets, and that was like the one thing that people really kept like harping on. And it was like, well, one, I've I've never been a Jason, so I can't bring that to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, and that was another thing too. People were like, oh, she's a Jason. No, I was a twirler. There's a distinct difference. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of stories started going around, but um, it definitely took a lot of proving to people what I can do and what I can bring, and it not necessarily have anything to do with Jackson State. You know, and I'm not going to lie, like, of course, my experience, you know, in the boom, I'm going to take things from that that I learned and that I experienced mm -hmm. and kind of move it over here, but in a different way. Um, and I've, I've done that and been, been successful with it. But it was definitely it's definitely it's still it's still a challenge, you know, from an mm -hmm. alumni perspective, people are still. Um, I think people are receptive and they like what's going on, but then you still have some people who, of course, you know, you can't please everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but that is still like, mm, I don't know about it's a whole lot of change over here right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then speaking of that change, um, I remember when I when I was in the band, I remember Mary Jane's and white gloves and <laughs> right. And, yeah. and 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 they've and they've changed the transformed significantly since then you know um yeah. just the style of dance the uniforms of course um but i do i did see that the marching style it has been retained right um yes. how how was how was i don't know if you did you bring this that style to to them or was that before you when so the marching, they didn't really march too much before me. And that was one of the things I did want to bring back. Because one of the first questions mm -hmm. I asked them was like, you know, what are what are your traditions? Like, what are things that, you know, when you do this, everybody knows that this is TSU or this is the sophisticated ladies. And the marching was the one thing that they could tell me. So I was like, okay, let's, let's try to bring this back and incorporate it some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I I noticed sure. that, like, in watching like videos, like over the past week of 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 your girls, like, you know, the, the TSU tradition has stayed as far as like marching. You know, like they they it, it, it's it, it's real. You know, it's, it's ingrained into the culture of the the marching program. Like, how like I know, like you 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 asked those questions. What wisdom came like? before you that made you like okay you know what like i gotta lean into this because it's really hard um going from a, a tradition that you know a, a jackson state even if you're watching it and then going to a, like a, a tsu or any other institution and be like hey you know what like i need to lean into this because you know that's what we're supposed to do you know like you're not we're not going in to be a renegade and change everything you know like we're going in to make whatever it is that they got going on better like what was it in you to be like like what what kind of wisdom did you did you have already to like go into there and we're like hey you know what like i want to lean into this you know like that's leadership like what was it Honestly, it was really research, to be honest. I didn't, I don't really have any connections to TSU, even mm -hmm. like when it comes to family and even like a lot of my friends didn't go to TSU. So I don't really have like those strong ties to really follow and know what, you know, what happened prior to, but going into it and just doing the research over the, you know, the few years prior I knew I wanted to bring some tradition into it because I felt like there was just this blurry line of like what what is tradition in regards to the dance team. Um, so I'm like, I want to find that and then bring it, but still like modernize it also. Um, and we still pay like we pay tribute to um, some of the things that that you've probably seen before, even in the 90s, like we don't necessarily wear 
you know, silver stockings anymore, but we might have silver in a uniform or we might have a silver something Mm -hmm. that kind of pays homage to that. So we're still having tradition in what we do. It's just done in a different way, but you just, you have to pay attention and look for it. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. That's awesome. Little little sounds like it it sounds like, so Mm -hmm. Melanie, it sounds like you were born to do this. Um, something that Toby said, he was talking about some of the videos he was looking at or some of the things that he was looking at. I was looking at some stuff and I'm just listening at how you are talking and how you are instructing everybody. Your, your coach voice is like, Mm -hmm. it, 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 it it projects loudly. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's one of those things where, you know, how you walk into a room and somebody grabs everybody's attention because of their voice you yeah. have that voice so shout out to you and what you're doing yes, sir. with those with those individuals those young individuals like i literally had to do my research because you came in 2007 right you came to jack state in 07 so yeah. you were there in 07 so of course i was gone in 07 so i missed that you know i missed that whole of course i've seen the shows and all that good stuff but that transition from it's almost like today was destined for you like right now in this moment where you are it was destined for you at seven. You said seven years old or 10 years old? Was it seven or 10? Seven. Yeah. Seven, seven years old, all the way up. She started to competing when she was 10. She was, I'm sorry, thank you, Danielle. She's competing she with us. Competing at, <laughs> she's competing at 10, started at seven. Now, here we are. You are a grown individual leading these individuals doing your thing. So, major shout out to what you're doing. Continue mm-hmm. to do that. I just, I just had to give you props because I mean, like you know, those that's are flowers, amazing. man. Those are flowers. Gotta right get there. flowers. You gotta yeah, get flowers. absolutely. So, so do you? Do you? So here's a crazy question. Um, did you ever like? So when you got to Jackson State, and I don't know if I'm going too far left. When you got to Jackson State, did you like have to train with some of the past twirlers? that had come before you was there like a okay let me show you how to do this or did you say no let me show you how to do this <laughs> what, what was what was that like, 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 like how you going like like, like like i got a story another day but like so how did how did that how did that whole thing come about like here you are you audition but you've been competing like yeah i've been doing it i i wasn't playing the metaphone at seven or 10 nor was i competing yeah. so like how was how was that whole vibe going from yeah i've been competing since i was seven so there's not much you can tell me how did that go um no i didn't work with any of the old twirlers um the only time i saw any of them honestly was was homecoming mm. um which was always a challenge but i'll get to that in a second but um <laughs> when i <laughs> <laughs> when I came in, I felt like I came in at a good time because we I feel like we were transitioning in like what we were doing uh, on the field. And so I was able to choreograph routines. I was able to choreograph things that we did in the stands and come up with new stands. The only, I guess, routine that was taught to me, obviously, was get ready. So that was like the only the only routine coming in that kind of came from the past. Everything else that we did, we created that year when I came in. Wait a minute. Is there's mm. a twirler routine to get ready? You heard him. You, you didn't know it. Don't yeah. Why you I didn't Danielle. know that either. Totally. I thought What's that just y'all? I, yeah, so we, I just thought we had a twirler yeah. come in. No, I I, I never said. knew that. I, I never knew that. it was a I routine. Know the routine. Yes, I know the routine. You know the routine. Know the routine. Know. Yes, yes. Let me show you. Here you go. Jeffrey, cut that out. Like, dude. It, start, it starts like this. Boom, boom, boom. So that's that's, that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> no, that's not it. no, I didn't know that either. I, I didn't know that either. So, so yeah. more information to learn. Well, keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. It's so it's a it's a twirler routine to get ready. Now, I'll be completely honest. We did change it a little bit when I came in because what we realized that year, uh, myself and Celia, who was my captain we realized that a lot of what they were doing before, and I'm probably gonna get in so much trouble for this, but we realized a lot of what they were doing before was very, very close to what the J sets were doing, or it was the same thing, but just with a baton in their hand. Mm -hmm. And we were like, no, like, especially with me as a dancer also, I have too much respect for what they do to do the same thing. And so we started like, we started changing stuff. Mm-hmm. Trend set her right, but I think I that that it. that happens though. I mean that 
we've had guests on that have talked about, you know, not necessarily change, changing, altering, modifying, you know, that mm. sort of thing. Like the drum majors, the drum majors modify, you know, the get ready routine every year, but they yeah. typically, well, they, for a long time, they started out the same, you yeah. know, um, that's amazing. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. I think that's <laughs> no. throughout the whole band, though. Like, it, it's just a perspective, a perspective, you know, like, 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 even with snare drums, like, like how, how we, you put the, the, you know, a flash or a visual, you know, in a certain place. It, I'm sorry. It, how you put a flash or a visual in a certain place is like, it's just based off of the perception of the person that's teaching you, you know, like, hey, it's supposed to be here art is supposed to be here but like when you're thinking about dancing and you're thinking about twirling and all that type of stuff like like i get it, 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 it it's 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 you got to make sure that you know like you know like whatever your your interpersonal perspective is 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 alluded to everybody else so like yeah mm-hmm. that's that, that's a that's that's kudos to you man for like mm-hmm. figuring out like you're like hey we don't we want to pull away from this and we want to do our own thing Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean to be honest, if we had the option, and it's so funny because Celia and I were talking about this uh, a few days ago, but you know, if we had the option, we wouldn't have even twirled in the stands to be honest, because for us as twirlers, that's not that's not a thing for us. Where where we thrive is on the field. That's mm-hmm. that's our platform. Right. So twirling in the stands, you know, that was something definitely new for me coming uh, to Jackson State. I'm like, we got to do what? So we can't just sit here. Right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we can't just see. Like, we wait. can't. With twirlers, <laughs> it's, it's, it's either one or two of you. It's not like a whole group. Like it's like y'all got to be on point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the most we had was we had three my sophomore year. Mm-hmm. There was three. Yeah, there were three before that as well. Um, wow. Dexter squad. Yeah, mm-hmm. had three. I want to say. Um, yeah, you, I, you, I think you, after two thousand is when. The twirler, I w- okay. I don't want to discredit anybody before that, but between two thousand and I don't know the the last year, but between like for a decade, I would say um, twirlers were like very. Um, it was an important piece, like or or twirlers flocked to Jackson State, like you know what I mean? Because yeah. there were years where we didn't have, you know, we didn't have a twirler audition. You know, there were mm-hmm. years where there was there was just no audition. Nobody showed up, you know, to twirl. Um, so, yeah, after 2000, it seemed to like become a more like more staple to signature again. Yeah. Like it started to 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 to, to reappear. <laughs> I can't find the word. <laughs> Man. So. Wow. So this is so Melanie's once again, kudos to you. You not only are you like walking and living in your purpose, I think this is your purpose because you know, if you start doing something that and then you're doing it now professionally greatly, then I feel like that's your purpose. But kudos to you for being a trendsetter, like so. So, here's so for me, and being that you know, we didn't pay attention to the twirlers until it was game day or performance time. I'm just being honest. So when we were seeing them, it's like, oh snap, man, the twirler getting getting loose, getting funky. So it's kind of like it's almost like a surprise. It's like surprise, mm-hmm. we got some dope twirlers. But <laughs> now I'm listening to we got some dope trend setting twirlers. Like okay. it's almost like you came in and changed the game. No disrespect to the twirlers before you, because man, I can name oh my gosh, all of the twirlers from Dijon. Uh yeah. man, uh what, what, what's, what, what's yeah, yeah, like they were some dope twirlers, man. Like mm-hmm. and the girl, I forgot the girl name, the one. So th- this is a weird memory. So the year in, in the year that it was cold when we played uh all corn, we almost froze to death. What was the twirler name that literally went out there and did her thing? And it was still like it was like raining, the ice cold, it was an all corn game. I don't know what year it was, it may have been yeah, two thousand. Katrina? Yes, Katrina, Katrina. Katrina. Yes. She did mm-hmm. she did her thing. Like it was always we always had some dope twirlers, but like to hear these stories about you know what the twirlers have done and then to hear your story and hear your journey, man. It's like it's crazy. Like I'm really enjoying listening to this. Like, I got some I got some more questions, but we don't have like I really need another like another hour because I want to know like okay, who trains the twirlers? Like you came in already knowing stuff. You know, so I know I know I talked about, you know, 
people that came before you and how was that whole vibe but it's kind of like you know now in, in this current day and age in 2023 when the season comes or would you be like like a twirler um executive or would you be like a a twirler um a liaison i think i'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the right word to use like would you be like the twirler coach now because you're like such an extraordinary person and you're like really really into the twirler game so would you be that kind of person for in 2023 so okay it's so funny you say that um i i would so i actually sit on a board right now it's called the black baton twirlers network and get so out of here b b black but bbn baton twirlers bbtn <laughs> bbtn <laughs> okay okay keep going i'm sorry, I'm sorry yeah and so what i do there is um my main purpose for jo joining that board was really to take girls who look like me and help them get to HBCUs who still have twirling programs, <laughs> but also just to kind of be a resource and a mentor because it's it's hard competing as a, as a black twirler. So being able to provide them with different things like tights or costumes or training or paying for them to go to competitions because competing is expensive. And so we raise money and just kind of help them in whatever aspects that we can, or if we're able to help them get scholarships to an HBCU, because I would love to see more twirlers go to HBCUs um, in twirl who still have programs. But then even if they go to a PWI, it's just still being able to help them, you know, with the scholarship or the things that they, you know, they need. So that's kind of where we, we fall in at. So, yeah. Not only is you a great person, I'm glad I'm glad she's your Jackson State grad. Right. Do you, you have know. a favorite memory, Melanie, from your time in the band? Um, my favorite memory would have to be this is gonna again sound like a pageant answer, but my, my favorite memory um was performing at Southern Heritage Classic in 2008. Um, I remember it because it was my last Southern Heritage Classic, but it was also like one of the best routines I ever did, I feel like. Um, and then it's all that game is always like home for me mm -hmm. because everybody from Nashville comes and it's it's funny because I'm twirling for Jackson State, but <laughs> Nashville kind of thing. But like that's the the one game that everybody always came to um to support and see me see me twirl. But that that performance was my favorite memory um mm -hmm. and so to make it a full circle moment my first southern heritage classic with tsu i was like okay i didn't get to come back and twirl what would have been my captain year so now i have to redeem myself mm -hmm. <laughs> something big to make up for the fact that i didn't get to do anything um after that and so that's the year we did like the little fascinator hats and the capes and came out real big but mm -hmm. yeah southern I've heritage seeing that, mm -hmm. that yeah was that, was that was my that was my one yeah. okay then you, you still showed up and showed out I she know did right. I she know had to let right. them know she had to let them know done yeah she had to let them know hey look i still run this <laughs> <laughs> yo <laughs> yo mm -hmm. melanie so unfortunately the time has tipped up on us and we're going to be ready to close this out. But I personally want to say thank you for being who you are. Thank you for coming on and sharing your story, sharing what you've done. I know it's a whole bunch more stuff that you got to share with us. Mm -hmm. um, but before we go, before we wrap this up, do you have any shout outs, any last parting words, anything that's on your heart, on your mind that you would like to just share to the world, to the people, to your friends or just to us? Yeah, well, first, I just want to say thank y'all for having me on here. Uh, when I got the invite, I was like, oh, yes, they still love me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. So um, thank y'all. No, for real. Thank you for having me on here. Um, definitely, I feel like I have to, um, you know, give a shout out to every twirler that has graced Jackson State's field, of course. Um, just as a twirler, I feel like... Um, once I came in, it kind of started dying a little bit. It is a dying art. I hate to say that, but it really is. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have to definitely thank the one person that made sure we look good every game, 
which was Diana Williams. So shout out to her. Um, Hello, Diana. Yes. And shout out. Definitely. That's that's my sis right there. That is my girl. Um, and I feel like I would be remiss if I did not, you know, shout my parents out for all the money that they spent. <laughs> I used to get it when I was young about all the money they spent, but I hopefully now it was well worth it. <laughs> oh, my sure. Okay. <laughs> it all worked out. Oh, good. Uh before we close, Danielle Toby, do y'all have anything y'all would like to say before we close out this wonderful episode, Miss Melanie's Gibbs? No, I appreciate you, you know, accepting the invitation. Yes, we do still love you. <laughs> and uh, just proud of you and, and everything that you're doing these days. And, and you know, um, good luck and, you know, to, for every, to everything in the future that's coming up, anything we don't know about or know about. Um, congratulations on your White House performance and just doing an amazing Man, job at it. Tennessee State. Like yeah. you are really doing a great job and and we can see that and and you know we just appreciate you. You know, we appreciate all of our alumni that go out right. there and represent, you know what I mean? And 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 are excellent at what they do. So thank you. Right. Yeah. So and I, and I piggyback on uh, on Danielle man like you like everything that you're doing is great. We appreciate it. Like um like it, it doesn't have to be for Jackson State. It can be for another, it, like mm -hmm. when it's for our people. It, mm -hmm. That's what's important. And you coming from Jackson State, so like when you're still doing that stuff for our people, it's it's awesome. So like we appreciate you and all the things that you're doing for the community, for our our HBCUs, for our community. Uh, keep it up, man. Like we like we we watching you and we, and we believe in you and, and and we anything that we can do to push you forward, please reach out to us. To, to to, to 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 lend whatever it is that we can do to yep. help you out. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All to the good. All right, y'all. So that's it. Another episode of Tiger Talk with the fourteen hundred Club. It's your boy Terrell Key, aka T Reezy. We had Miss Melanie Gibbs on. We got Miss Dunyah Walls and Mr. Toby Johnson. We are here. This is Band Sessions with the Boom. Once again, see y'all later. Hold on. Pom poms in the air. You can put a shirt on that. He don't need a shirt. His shirt in his hand. That makes you feel uncomfortable, Toby. I know, right? Are you are you jealous? Oh no! What about jealous? It's bears and no shirt. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? Yeah. All right, y'all. We out of here. Peace out. Until next time. Holla. Peace. Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club is presented by Bet Online.